will he be able to counteract that with the moves he made in the first two sectors through the last corners lovely lovely slide out of turn 13 across the line for luke smith can he go pole he does and he what goes into the sevens. luke smith gets a brilliant drive thomas harley switched to the inside tries to make a move but uh, the door is closed luke smith gets a fantastic drive there's no shenanig shenanigans there's going no on shenanigans going on any further back i don't think the camera angle through turn two is absolutely shocking but it looks like we got through absolutely fine any news to report guys it's a ninth place fighting with, uh, I think you're enjoying it's attack helicopter. Oh, oh it's a and the big incident. Oh, the attack helicopter gets absolutely yeeted into Narnia. He uh, uh, definitely lost, uh, been de left because of that. Um, uh, we're on board with Neon at the moment. It looks like he's been disqualified. It's a, it's a manual retirement. Oh, my goodness. Okay. The company, uh, Jesper and uh, Danny are right with him uh, as we start lap three but we're still exactly the same at the top. Luke Smith from Thomas Harvey, from Jeffrey, from Jesper, from Jenna, Danny. This has gone, that's very early penalty. Uh, and if he's gone that early, then pretty high chances he's going to get another one during the race. Uh, meanwhile, up at the front, only four turns between Harvey and Smith. Definitely under fire to the inside he moves then. Nice, easy DRS overtake there from Thomas Harvey. Old oh, teammates. Going toe to toe now, into the might see a double pass here. Both Alpines managing to get past. I'm not sure if Jeffrey's got enough. He might do. Tom Luke Smith definitely has. It's a carbon copy of what happened last time. Uh, as he comes into these the guys as well. So, yeah, I mean it's a call at least. You know, it's a call. Uh, Jeffrey can make that call now if he wants to go on a similar style style of uh, of strategy. Or oh, he might actually want to get. Uh, Even though he did go deep, it might be hard for Jeffrey to do this. He's got the ERS open. He's going to wait for the second DRS, I think, and have a, have a go into turn one. But Thomas Harvey gets a good run through the Wall of Champions. I think we might see a move running outside. He's screaming at this stage. Because they're not seven lap old. They've got well, an extra Danny two goes round. Danny goes round. Oh, OK, right. So down into seventh, eighth. Uh, yes, we'll, he is. And helicopter's <laughs> out. That's in the pits, though. OK. Oh, Danny's had to wait. Come Look. under attack from Cody here. Um, yeah, OK. There you go. I was so about to say. One so of the top runners. So it's all good. The rear tyres, are you're looking at 53%, I think, they were on Jesper's on that rear left. So okay. top, Thomas Ritchie and Cody. Didn't I mention about Cody's strategy, how that man can push tyres to the absolute limit? Well, he is. <laughs> <laughs> he is. He's right there. I was, was going to say. Just be ahead there of Ritchie. But they're going to come out in some traffic. It's coming around turn one. I think it is turn two. Here it is. Right behind his teammate there of Thomas. Sneaks in behind Jesper. Time soon here. But they're both all going to get that DRS toe. All the way from Mark in P4 that's still yet to box. Oh, that's tough there for Thomas Harvey. He didn't get into that area where he can really make use of that DRS going well, down. The track actually 11.5s. So considering he had really old tyres. But it will drop him out. Maybe a bit of traffic we'll see. Probably around P10 when we come out. Where... He doesn't bit. He doesn't bit. He goes for another one. The crazy man's going for a one stop. That's why. Um, as we heard, big oh, goodness, there's a lot of cars down that back straight. <laughs> you wanted a safety car, close your eyes. There may very well be yeah. one. No, not, his teammate's going to get a nice toe, obviously. He's going to get past him, making his way back up through the field here. Fresh boots, got the pace. And there's Thomas actually getting past finally on that. That's what we're talking about. There you go. That's no, all good. I guess Jeffrey will get past Jenna if he's, he looks like he's got the pace too, as Thomas Harvey uh, clears the uh, back marker technically of Harlem. Gets up into second place. He was provisionally second place anyway. Second but, place. He was provisionally second place anyway. But uh, he's up there on merit now, and uh, that's the true gap. 6.3 seconds. Well, we say true. Jenem does get past Harlem into turn one. That's the first overtake we've seen that's uh, happened into turn one. Jeffrey's going to have to get his elbows true out. test uh, that we were talking about. How much of a gap can Luke Smith pull? And that was his chance to pull it. And it didn't look like he was really gapping. If anything, he was losing. Time. Still got life in those tyres then, so he could wait until, I guess, the mid-twenties before he decides to pull it in. Um, but he, he doesn't want to wait too long. So, um, yeah, okay. that's going to hurt him even more. But he's going to have the best boots in town. He is. Well, this will be telling. Uh, Luke Smith will know what kind of pace. And just ahead, crucially, I think, of Harlem. And that was a good pit yes. stop there for the Aston Martin team because he didn't want to be held up there, but that's going to be a good little battle between them. They're fresh tyres, obviously, soft and versus mediums. Yeah, he'll be plenty ahead, and so he's come out about seven seconds behind Jesper, a little over. 
Oh, this man is is he's, he's, he's got brownie months. for company now. So yeah, if you start dropping places now, you've really got to just get in there and change those tires. We'll see what Mark Levine does. He's still inside the top ten, still gets points. Well, he has to box. Oh, he gets the bust, actually. He has yeah, to box. Oh yeah. no! He's... Goodness, that was a bit crazy for Brownie, but yeah, <laughs> Mark Levine goes for another one. Okay, quick, quick. Carson gets himself a three-second time penalty as we're watching Jenob trying desperately to get past Jeffrey, um, but I uh, don't know if he's got enough in the tank to, to make that happen. I think it's helping that those cars ahead have got the DRS, and obviously Luke Smith's playing without that game, but as soon as he gets into the second, he will be knock, knock, knocking on Jump the door. down, Beaker doing Beaker things. Yeah. Off the bounce of a win in the F2. Doesn't quite convert that in the F1, never mind. I can't remember if you already mentioned it. But Nose to tail. Luke Smith is really close now as well. We can smell them from here. It's a matter of time before the young Brit reels in these uh, front runners' uh, advantage. Tries. But these guys, it's completely nullified in the straights because everyone's got uh, DRS on each other. So he's just got to wait until he can get the passes done. I think in the easier it's part three, uh, nicely done. Yeah, he's going to have to forego the DRS zones and get it done. Good a little penalty. Simple. Oh, did he for that? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Okay. Well, that opens it up for Thomas Harvey then. It's all level playing. Oh, he's got Cody to deal with. And Cody's no slouch. <laughs> I, 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 I did well, I predicted the man to win, but it looks good for a podium. Yeah, he's looking good for a podium. I, this, I think this is going to slap his chances back, though. Uh, I've got a funny feeling Luke Smith might get two cards. Sit my your goodness. tray tables up, because this is going to come down to the wire, isn't it? 28 or 35, and look how close they are. The top, they're separated by five seconds. All these guys from 1 to P6. Blink, and you make a mistake, and it's all over. That was crucial, crucial, crucial. Ahead, and then let Luke Smith, after he'd got past Yenna, that may have compromised his battle with Yenna, but now that he's went through now, now he can just constantly push. Into turns 3 and 4. Uh, in, sorry, into uh, 6 and 7, but he doesn't. No, he doesn't get the move done as he tried to on Cody. He's going to have to wait uh, down towards 8 and 9, but DRS should be open for Luke. One. DRS. Yeah, get him. You're getting down, obviously, into the. Uh, SP, yeah, no, uh, no, ping. No, no, no. yeah, this should be an easy, easy peasy one. And Jeffrey's going to follow through. Yellen's going to be an absolute sitting duck here. He's going to be the one without DRS. Can't cover him off at that penalty as well, but his tyres are fantastic. His pace is brilliant. Right. Well, this is the test then. Luke and Harvey. Sorry, Luke and on Thomas. Alpine. I'll say Jeffrey's going to keep it. He's got the DRS wide open from Jenna. It's going to be hard for the Red Bull. They're in that train now. They've all got a similar tyre. The thought could get the job done on Jenob. As he goes from moving to turn one, round the outside, he's going to have the inside for turn two. Good, good run there from Jeffrey. That's twice yeah, I think he's done that. Three, that's a Ferrari round. Okay, is that Harlan? Oh, Carson? No, Carson, I think he was just letting people throw it anything at you. It's home. Is, does he conserve his tyre so he can put up a fight when Luke comes? Or does he push as, as much as he can now? to delay Luke's push -ups. It's now obviously decreased because of the overspeed, but look at the double overspeed from both of these cars. Oh, it's just absolutely munched. All of that hard work Jeffrey put in, trying oh, to gap his drivers on the planet. This is why you're a junior Alpine Academy driver, because now it's going to, not just yet, but I think he's just playing with his food right now. He knows he's going to get this. It's come so. early, um, but yeah, like you're saying, it's like a cat playing with a mouse at this stage. Luke Smith's going to have him done, down into turns 12 and 13. Uh, nice and easy, DRS pass. I don't think Thomas Harvey's going to be able to stay with him on the pace afterwards, though. That was... Jeffrey's had to skip the corner, and he's got a penalty for it. That might look. That might get looked into. I mean, he had to take avoiding action because of a, a, a moment of contact. Colin, he's stuck is, perhaps? This is going to be tough, though, because... Oh, he going to penalty. Oh, no, no, no. Well, that's good for Cody, I was going to say. Um, should have r &L and opening up that purse even more for points. Fantastic session and an absolute masterclass with strategy. Maybe Thomas tried to hold on to his DRS and they could have gone toe-to-toe -to -toe at the end. Um, yeah, possibly. Possibly could have done something. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Who could have called it? He was leading when he came into the pit and he came in early. Uh, so got the jump on everyone else. Luke Smith then from Thomas Harvey from Cody Lawrence. Good podium position for him. You got it right, Biggles. You got a podium. Uh, and then we got uh, <laughs> Jenob in fourth, Jeffrey in fifth, Jesper sixth, Top Jack seventh, Danny and Brownie eighth and ninth, and then Mark.